von Manfu. Good. Wie der Fuck hat der Filter? Nope. Okay, der hat Techno. Von Manfu. Good evening. Nice to see you. Uh, this model I use right now. This is from Sakura. One moment, I will link them. They are also in the stream's description now. Because they got a free Omori styled model that can be adjusted actually. And. Sorry. I'm sorry. There's nothing. Okay. And yeah, it can be adjusted quite a bit, so I made some changes that I thought might look decently good. But while, I'm, while my own model is being wrapped on, I might actually use this then. Basically, he wants you to credit him for using the model and otherwise... Well, the obvious things like not setting the model and stuff, but you can adjust it and stuff to, fix, to match you. So, I actually didn't adjust the expression and stuff ahead at all, I guess. Well, the tracking. Maybe I should do that, hmm? Uh... I guess now it's a little bit late for that. Hmm? <laughs> uh, I'll prep that for next time, okay? I literally found out about it like just earlier, I guess. So yeah, also since I get my mic set up onto the other side of the of my screen now, I wanted to see if I care how the singing is before anything. Hmm? To see how well or badly this goes. Before, before we go and enter the game, oxygen not included. I practiced a little bit and I might be able to set up a, a water boiling cycle to de-germanize it or what you call it. So that might work as well, I think. Well, we will see. We will see. Hmm? Oh yes, maybe I should have a turn. Uh, one second, okay? Hmm. There we go. Uh, yes. Hum, 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 hum. Okay, there we go. Okay, we are good to try some of the singing, okay? Just a single song, okay? Uh, wrong screen. That should be this one, I think. Uh, yes, this should be the karaoke screen, yes? Yes? No, this is chat too. Which one was karaoke? Uh, yeah. I guess I'm a bit confused. <laughs> mm, set list. We'll do the Bart song, yes? Bart song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. And we set up the saw and the filters, yes? One and two for the roof up. I didn't like the doubler too much. It might be good for certain songs, but not this one, I think. So, yes. Uh, music. Karaoke. Light Guardian. No, not too loud. Not blasting ears. Okay, there we go. <coughs> okay. Let's go. <coughs> no, you all know. The birds and their songs When hours have gone by I'll close my eyes In a world far away We may meet again But now hear my song About the fall of the night That sing the bird song us away, far from home, no one will ever know our names, but the dark songs will remain, tomorrow will take it away, the fear of today, it will be 
again due to our magic songs. There's only one song left in my mind Tales of a brave man who lived far from here Now the world songs are over and it's time to leave No one should ask you for the name of the one who tells the story away far from home no one will ever know our names but the bird songs will remain tomorrow all will be known and you are not alone so don't be afraid in the dark and cold cause the bird songs will Okay, this was the bird song from Blind Guardian for a little mic practice. How was it? Was it any good? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think the volumes should have been fine. <coughs> Alrighty, so how about you move on to the game? I will also show you a little bit of some of my fails, I guess. Oh, and music. Hmm? So, just yesterday night I found a song from Ark Knights that I really, really, really enjoyed. One moment, where did it go? There it is. Uh, it's the it's the song Ständchen from uh, what's his name again? Ebenholz. Yes, Ebenholz. Well, it is in the BGM today as well, and I definitely want to learn that song. So maybe I will be able to sing it to sing it properly at some point. BGM is set up. Game game capture, please. Game game game. You're in the game screen, yes? Hello? Oxygen? Oxygen not included? Hello? You don't want to capture? How about I restart the game? Hmm? Absolutely 0% scuff. <laughs> hey, hey. Um, yeah. Alrighty. So, game? Game capture? It seems the game capture doesn't want to capture today. So, let's get creative. If it doesn't want a full screen game, um, create game capture for oxygen not included. Not included. Mm -hmm. uh, capture specific window. Oxygen not included. Okay. Oops. Mm -hmm. 
lock it. Good. Um, set game. Oxytrain are not included. There we go. We are going into the game now. Hmm? Yep, into the game. So. Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun. <laughs> All right, uh, one second. Gotta be right back. Um, just uh, one second, okay?
Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Um, there we go. Totally off. Phew, Mother Nature was suddenly calling me urgently to the toilet, or a uh, uh, big disaster would have befallen me if I hadn't followed. So, yes. Sorry for the delay. And we're back. So, we will be doing some oxygen not included today. And, well, our colony is the plagued space station and we are almost done setting up the rooms for a water um, cleaning system, I guess. And I did some more tests, like in this one, I'll just show you what happened there. Those are just some offline colonies that are basically doomed. Well, one, the other one isn't doomed, but it is a hot biome to see what it is like in the first place. So, yeah. Let me show you, okay? <laughs> so, basically, what happened here was, I tried to set up a colossal hydrogen uh, power plant system with 12 electrolyzers, but in the process I had to keep postponing a time or a time or a time again, because I had other problems like power and stuff, but in the end I managed to set up um, a basic water cycle. Here we got basically a dirty water tap system. We got deodorizers at the top that flush cleaned pollu cl uh, polluted oxygen after cleaning it into the base. We got algae terraria that actually cr uh, created oxygen and produced polluted water emitting polluted oxygen that could get cleaned. So this water would get through a water sieve, then a desalinator, and then it would get into this tank where the water basically gets boiled to 85 degrees Celsius. The water presses down here, so the water on the upper other side actually begins rising. And is it, sl it is slow enough that the water compl that gets completely de-germanized, uh, completely sanitized, and then once it was once enough water was gathered over here, it would flow through the mesh tiles into the clean water pool here, where incidentally um, a pond peed into for some reason. Once again, and these pumps would then supply the entire base, something like this. And these metal tiles I did too for some better heat conduction so the water would actually cool down fast enough so the pumps wouldn't get roasted by the boiling water. It worked quite nicely, now, until, some, until the people decided that we don't need coal anymore or anything. Because it was running on coal power until would I would have finished setting up the water cycle here, the hydrogen power plants. And as we continued aggressively digging for more coal, uh, we got a tiny bit of coal left here, and at the at the edge of the world, I guess. This is pretty much the last coal resource. Maybe on the other end here, a tiny bit as well. But that's basically the last coal on the map, it seems. I didn't dig a lot far on or down a lot yet, but yeah. Just getting these three hydrogen power plants going basically killed 13 of the 18 colonists. Because the water here was running too low, they didn't get any food anymore, so they all starved. And the hydrogen power plants, well, Let's just say I underestimate the amount of gas tanks you need for this. Basically, per gap pump here, or per electrolyzer, you would need two, well, yes, you would need two oxygen tanks per electrolyzer, and, uh, yeah, one hydrogen tank per electrolyzer, basically. And then with just these three going, I already had nine tanks yeah i think you get how costly this is to build and how to set up i managed to get the cycle running actually and it ran well it even ramped up itself non-stop to the point all three power plants were running non uh, non-stop but yeah at some point the pump denied its service i suppose Meanwhile, we had 
this uh, chlor chlorium geyser opened and what happened was it kept flushing more and more chlorium outside. Well, let's just say 116 grams of chlorium per second average, including the downtimes of the geyser. So it flooded everything down there until I did an emergency stop by just flat out locking off the wall. Yep, that's how I stopped it, but it's kind of too late already. Then here we had a saltwater geyser that spat out that's a pretty, that's quite a bit, hmm? about 4 kilograms of water per second average, including the downtime and sleeping phases of the geyser. And here we had a deep water, uh, a clean water geyser that basically is asleep almost eternally. So we ran out of clean water to pu pump into stuff as well. I basically would have needed power to uh, proceed to keep these two running to flush the stuff through here and get everything going. Or rather, I would have needed to separate the desalinator and the water sieve because the desalinator would have needed a an, an, uh, separate uh, pool for the brine, I guess. Then the system would have been running a lot faster and a lot more power efficient, so it basically burned out itself. And that's how that colony kind of died. Then about that other colony on a volcano planet. Well, let's just say it was just in the beginning to see how I can actually set up rooms. And the room setup seems to be fairly simple actually. I just need some extra space for walls and doors I suppose. Like, yes, this is a bedroom. Mm -hmm. Uh, guys? There you go. Yes, barracks. Just because you have beds in a room, it is a bedroom, like barracks. And that gives a moral bonus, okay. Just having a, lat a latrine and a wash basin in a room makes it a, wa a bathroom, giving also a moral bonus. So I might attempt to, well, build it into our stream colony, I guess. So we go to our stream colony and I think we might need to change up the water cycle a tiny bit. Hmm? Alright, I forgot the same thing on Twitter, I think. Let's quickly get the live tag on my icon, I guess. Just a moment. Just a moment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, number one. And number two. Good. Now we are showing us live on Twitter. Okay. This should be a little bit better, I think. this just a second okay hum, hum, hum. Hum, hum, hum. <laughs> Okay, sorry for the wait. So here we had our little colony, yes? Well, not exactly little, I guess. Oh, Oops. Oops. Okay. I think we're in a deep mess there. So we basically got no rooms at all, yes? Yes. Oh, this counts as spared. Okay. And we got one room. Two rooms? Two rooms. We got two rooms. 
Okay. Uh, we were busy, busy actually insulating the base because it was getting so cold in here that actually uh, carbon dioxide was, uh, yes, liquidizing. And like that, we might be having a tiny problem. We're setting up insulated tiles here. And, uh, wait, this stuff won't work like that. Oops. And yeah. So we got the clean water pool up here. Mm hmm. All right. Wait. How is this supposed to work? Uh, yeah. Let's just try to fix this uh, mess. First off, what we need is insulated tiles, I guess. Uh, cancel. Cancel. Uh, are these from granite? Base. Insulated tile. Granite. We need a granite, otherwise, it won't work at all. Because two right walls is kinda not exactly feasible. I tried it with one white and they would break if they were from sandstone. And well, yes. I think it is needless to say that one white sandstone bottoms actually broke on me. Yeah. It wasn't exactly nice. So we get ourselves a little, well, not as little, I guess. Cancel, 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 deconstruct, a letter, something, something like this. We will need um, a tipitizer and another exit here, I guess. Insulated walls? Mm. Let's see. It's a certain amount of space there to not make it uselessly. Uh, you know? Then we need a little bit of a right up here. Not too much, I guess. And our actual water tank is actually getting kind of, kind of small, I guess. Hmm? Yep, it's getting kind of small. Oops. Uh, yeah. I think I didn't think this through enough. Oh. Well, we can place a pump here that pumps it up there, and then we might be fine. This might be better. Um, utilities. We built a liquid tibidizer somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. Something like this, yes? Okay. Uh, yeah, that might work. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Uh, wrong button. So, we might need some... Do we really need wire mesh tiles there? We actually don't need those, no? Where are you even storing bad water? Hmm... I'm kinda curious. I think we didn't store that at all. Hmm... Okay... What in the world was I doing here? Hmm... Basically we need uh, for the plumbing. We need a liquid pipe. Mm. Like this. Next up we need a power supply for that one. Well, and these two too, I guess. Then, a good pipe. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be stupid, I think. But hey. Right now, uh, a liquid bridge. 
like this and it goes in there I think I really didn't think this through nice uh, well enough oh do we have I think these we might replace with heat dissipating tiles hmm will this do Mephic rock, thermal reactive. Mm -hmm. Require, require little energy to rise in temperature and therefore heat and cool quickly. Okay. Something like this. Then for the power supply we need to set up something down there. But what could we set up down there that actually makes it warm and stuff? Or is actually feasible? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. How much coal we have? Eight tons? Oh. And we would need... Oh. How much coal do we need? 240, 960 and 240. 1200... 1440? Oh. So basically we would need two coal generators and a windmill. Could place the wind over there, it might be warmer. Then we will need batteries. Uh, jumbo batteries, please. Oops, uh, yes. Maybe not that many. It seems we're out of stuff. How much copper we have? 850 kilograms? Okay. Mm. And already we need it as well. And you probably don't have enough copper for this, right? Mm, yeah. But this should be the basic setup we would want. This way the water has to pass the tipidizer to reach the pump over here and will get disinfected in the process. Wait. I think we forgot the water cleaning. We, at the very least we need a sieve, right? Uh, refinement, water sieve, how much power needs, it needs 120 watts, it should be fine, oops, uh, plumbing, plumbing, cancel, uh, cancel, just saying that I need it over there, um, plumbing, Liquid pipe. Something like this. Here, here, up here, and here. Okay, something like this. Oh, and I found out how you can actually assign priorities to tasks. It should be quite nice. What we should we even have? Hmm? Sound stuff, eh? Storage, temp shift plate, metal tile. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Well, this might be a nice research, I think. Desalinator we'll need as well. Mm, what else we need? Well, I think that's basic stuff we need. Do we have any food? Yes, we have food. Well, that's a start. But the stuff down here all needs to be made. Hmm. Cancel? Cancel. Cancel. Yeah, that's just a few of those now. We want... Liquid uh, or mesh tiles below these, and not air tiles, because then we can just press the 
emptying button so the people just pop the cork on the bottles and let them empty themselves. Mm, yeah, rather low on water, I think. Yep. But if this works out, we might get ourselves a little bit of water. It's getting fairly cold out there and we got basically minus 40 degrees everywhere. Oh, and the air is dropping. Can we print? Excavation strength construction. Plus 9 athletics. Ooh. This guy is actually kind of fast. Okay. Super duper hard digging. Plus 7 athletics. Hmm. What's Norris? Well, we got two bedrooms, I think. So I can just assign them the farthest. Who was the new person? You? Okay. So, new person, yes? New person? Well, digging and building, I guess. Our tasks for you. And if you get this stuff for you going, you might be able to actually fix the stuff, the base, hopefully. <laughs> game order? Oh, I forgot the game order. Definitely 0% scuff stream. 0% scuff at all. So this stuff we will need, yes? Uh... Rectifier? Okay, the stuff should be all connected, yes? Yes. It should get connected. Oh, is it cold? Well, of course it's cold. It's minus 40 degrees. Minus 60, uh, minus 39. Oh, that's cool. And chlor chlorum. Okay. There's more chlorine and... Oh, there's polluted water. Very interesting. So, yeah, if this colony actually goes down downhill, we might just go and make a hot colony instead. In the heat, you can actually get some alternate versions of producing power, I think. At least I got an idea, like flushing water onto some hot rocks. It should evaporate and give us some well, uh, steam, if you're lucky. So, what are the people doing? Hmm? What are they building? Why is your stress so high? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Downtime? Downtime? And I could give them one more hour dine time, I guess. Maybe this will help. Huh? Oh. I see. So each extra hour more than one for downtime gives them plus one more. Interesting. Mm, yeah. But I think the build of this colony is kind of botched. Hmm. And at least I got a basic idea how to set up a nice build. Um, yes. Well, you see this, I guess. The plants can grow there around the printing pot, which is quite alright. And we might have problems, I guess. Hmm. So, why is the encoding almost overloaded? Turning down preview settings are using a faster encoding preset? Well, if it insists, I might be able to increase the encoding, to reduce the encoding in set, uh, preset. Dig, uh, just the digging command. Two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Something like this. Get ourselves one more stone here. 
we want to get ourselves a fully insulated base to stop losing heat everywhere. Would be kinda nice. And it would be nice if the people actually built everything. How many builders do we even have? Hmm? Building. One good builder. Two good builders. Okay. Two good builders. Well, that's not exactly much, but I think they have to suffice. How much copper is uh, reserved, even? Copper? Copper, copper? Copper, copper, copper? Copper, copper? Copper, 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 copper, copper? Wait a second. How about we get some heat, heatable tiles? So, mm, wait. If we do that, we'll just boil the liquid pump there. So, never mind. We won't get conductive uh, thingies there. It will just go badly. Or what can we build those pumps from? Hmm. Liquid pump? Liquid pump? Any metal? Interesting. I kind of forgot what we wanted to do, but okay. <laughs> uh, you know this thing is pretty much full, yes? Why are you running there non-stop? Who is snoring? The snoring people are, to go are going there. Oh. Uh, Heh <laughs> Heh. Oops. My bad. So now what the thing I can dig over here so I can build a ladder and probably pump that stuff into the dirty water pool once it is finished, I guess. So, that might work, hmm? That might work. <laughs> this colony is kind of watched. You know what? How about we make a fresh one, hmm? A fresh colony, a fresh start. That might be a little bit better. I butched this pretty badly. Yeah, let's do that, okay? A fresh colony, a new place. Maybe we will get it properly from this time. A survival game? Hmm, random planet? Hmm. Mm -hmm. A location rife with molten lava pockets and intense heat. Mm -hmm. Volcanero would be perfect if it wasn't for the volcanoes. Taking carefully and managing the temperatures in our colony will be essential to success. A barren location with an overabundance of mineral resources. Mm -hmm. No immediate threats, but sparse resource availability. Hmm? A radio. Location for oppressively hot temperatures. Temperatures on a radio are much higher than expected. While resources are abundant, maintaining food and infrastructure could be difficult as our colony warms. Oh? Uh -huh. uh -huh. And volcanic activity and geodes and metal pool. Ooh. Ooh. Well, let's try it. This might probably be pretty bad, but let's try it. I didn't try the dead st scenario at all. <laughs> and I forgot the music, didn't I? 0% scuff stream. 0% scuff stream. Okay. Okay. There we go. Sorry. 0% scuff. <laughs> okay, I was taking a sip. What people we have here? Hmm? A super buff person with plus 14 strength? If it's really plus 14. Sounds good. I'll take them. 
So can we get someone with crazy stats too? Well, you're fast. I have gun resistance. Well, could be us. A builder? Okay. Hmm. A strong person who's pretty good at hauling and tiding. So, yeah. Okay. A super fast person would be kinda nice, but. A bigger or fast researcher would be good too. Like someone with very high excavation. A nice research? Cool, but. We want a digger. Uh, digging? Uh, yeah, and now. We want excavation, a higher level of excavation. Agriculture is nice as well, but the higher excavation, the faster we can expand. Nice as well, but excavation. Excavation. Please, please, game. Excavation. Excavation. One and plus five, please. We saw just the crazy stats in the other ones, but even just six excavation would be nice, to be honest. So. Mm -hmm. Five excavation. Nope. I want at least six. Yes, I'm being nitpicky right now. <laughs> Kinda. Do I need to lower my bar or something? Okay, five excavation, please. Excavation? Game gives me someone with plus four. After I said plus five. Of course. Of course. Thank you, game. Uh A baby amount of water? So, what we'll be doing? First of all, we'll dig some stuff over here, I guess. We'll dig um, a thing for a picture pump here. Because it incidentally has a pretty good shape for that. And then over here, we'll dig into that cavern, I guess. So we can actually house these four starters. Armor tree. Right, we can get wood. Wood? Ooh. Everything grow arbor tree branches and can be harvested for lumber. Ooh. Okay. I didn't ever see any wood in the game yet. Does this mean we can actually grow these and get ourselves some wood for generators? Ooh, now we're talking. Uh, yes. Your main tasks are these. Yours are building, and yours is thing. A little bit of this, I guess. Something like this. For starters. We get our farming tiles around this thing, for one. And down here we will get ourselves some really big living quarters. That should do. Like right below the living quarters, you will see if we can set up our water cycle. Since this 
this will be fairly proud. I hope we can fit everything together. Two, three, four, five. Yes. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For the walls around the outhouse and stuff. Then we need uh, stations, not right, stations, medicine, a wash basin, two toilets, toilet, yep, two toilets, and some drawers here, and some tiles, uh, like this. Alrighty, here will be the ladder sort of stuff. Toilets and we make it a lunchbox. Mm hmm. Bet you're having a nice day. But hey, how's my mic set up right now? Because I moved my mic from the left to the right, so I, when I look at chat, I actually turn towards the mic instead of away from it to have it all being a little bit better, I hope. I think I need to tinker on the stream encoder settings a tiny bit. Because, well, let's just say on oxygen uh, not included, OBS keeps complaining that uh, uh, the encoder would be. What do you call it again? Overloaded. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you! Uh, I think we need to dig... Oh, I think we need hard digging for that. Skills? Uh, we got no skills yet. Guess we gotta get good. <laughs> Did you really just lock yourself in there? These pawns, really? Really, eh? <laughs> Wait, you are running out of oxygen? You shouldn't be running out of oxygen yet. Let's uproot them so we get some seedlings to grow them again later. Hmm? At least we get a little bit of oxygen from these. Hmm? So we get our basic industry. Uh, the entrance, the entrance level industry set up there. Washroom and toilet space. Hey, not there. The game lagged a bit and moved to the side finally. <laughs> so if we make these lunch boxes, they are actually good for the morale instead of, yeah. See, latrine morale plus one. So the people will be happier. <laughs> so I got me this isotrope uh, Roystapler plugin for singing and stuff, but I guess it's only good for certain songs. Like Bad Apple and stuff, it might be good. But otherwise, on songs, it kinda sounds. Hmm, well, it sounds kinda wonky, I guess. So, yeah. Got some oxalite here. Looks pretty nice. Now here we finish the stuff. Can we uproot it? Because this is a place for letters. I want to dig into this room. It has a lot of these light bugs. It has food and stuff. So it would be kind of nice. Uh, this one is too far up, I think. I didn't think this through. I certainly didn't think this through. <laughs> First, fortile tile. We dig this stuff. So we can actually set up for later on. Uh, there's even more granite. Uh, Oops. Our else. Let's see, move everything further down. What about chlorine? Hmm? Hydrogen? Are there any geysers already nearby? Oh, a salt water? So we'll need some desalinators. A random room. Security door. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, water. Now we're talking. So down here we got a little water pool we can dig into. If we do this, we actually flush the stuff down there. And we got a bigger pool to work with. While we set up everything. Okay. Calling requires a, a food source. I know, I know. Power. Mineral generator. Mineral generator. Battery, battery. Food. Microbe Masha and Microbe Masha. Uh, the most basic necessities should be set up with that. Maybe a food box there too. And we can... Well, we might be able to go down there. Eventually. A pip? What do pips do? Pips are pesky, non-hostile critters that subsist on thimble reeds and arbor tree benches. They are known to bury seeds in the ground whenever they can find a suitable area with enough space. Okay. Diet, arbor tree and thimble reed. Excretion, dirt. Mm, food? Food? I kinda want the wood from those trees for power. It might be nice to do this with power. Hmm? Pump, 
pum 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 pum. There we go, I guess. Food? 1,600 calories? Well, that's fine, I guess. So, we are selling some basic rooms. Hmm? Interestingly, these don't affect the room classification. Luckily, uh, these we can dig away. That's good. Alright, let's make this stuff too. Hmm? People can cross one white gap, so we can just dig into it and the water will flush down normally. So, is there any water above us? Nope, doesn't look like it at the moment at least. And this we could reroute over there as well. Okay. This stuff's going down nicely. Oh, and we get a new pawn. Also nice. So what can we get? Plus 10 creativity. Okay. Plus 6 creativity and plus 3 husbandry. Machinery and science. And a digger. Okay. Guess you got a job. Uh, a bit. A lot. And a bit. Something like that. You know, the water goes down further and further. This we can uh, mop up as well. Yep, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make two more. And then we should be able to set up a colossal bedroom, I guess. Uh, please hunt this one too. I want the wood. achievement we got hmm? oh you can get advanced research cool so what achievement we got outdoor innovations uh, okay Actually killed the little pip. These hatches are actually kinda nice to have around. They turn well they convert. Mm -hmm. Basically they turn random um, random rock stuff. Oh and food I guess. Well whatever they eat they turn into coal. Mm -hmm. Fifty percent of consumed mass. Alright. So basically if you feed them a ton of stuff they turn it all into coal. Well, half of, the, half of it, I guess. Not perfect efficiency, but it seems pretty good. So if you can actually get a pretty big food farm going, you can fe keep feeding these little critters to make have them make you coal for industry. That doesn't sound too bad to me. Hmm? Yep, that doesn't sound too bad at all. So we get ourselves a bathroom there in front of the and it go again. Wash basin. Two toilets please. Yep, two toilets. Another lunchbox toilet as the sole entrance to the little to our bedroom. And the rest of the thing will be uh, separated into barracks, I suppose. Yes, it's not luxurious, but it should be fine. We could actually make uh, one person rooms out of it. I think they need some decoration and a uh, bed, and they will be called as a luxury hotel or something like that. Actually, why don't we do that? When we're at it. Oh, 
something like this. And something like this. Uh, wait. Oops. We could make one person be from there. Did you really just block yourself again? Alrighty, um, construction, important of these, please. This person's kind of stuck. <laughs> Little Rock, can you go outside, please? Hmm? We don't want you in the bedroom. <laughs> Actually, I can make this some pretty luxurious bedroom. Hmm? Mm, sure, why not? It's kind of wasteful, but hey. So, let's give people four white, I guess. One, two, one. One, two, one. One, two. Something like this. Yep, it's pretty wasteful, but hey! Maybe the people will like it. And each of those rooms gets a bed. Yep, we could actually make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20. 21, 22, 23 beds in here. And I'm actually building 9 beds instead. I hope I will regret this later on. Otherwise, we will need to make a second such uh, barrack center here. Who? What's this called like? Hmm? Barracks? Barracks? Hey! How is this a uh, barrack? That's, uh, that's not supposed to be a barrack. Do I need some airtight doors or something, hmm? And why is this a mess crew? Critters? Uh, please get rid of the critter, hmm? For <laughs> landing, we need a pitcher pump, please. Somewhere around here should be fine. So below here we could make a second such set of rooms, I suppose, and then our water storage, because the water is fairly, fairly far down. This might work, I suppose. Then we got ourselves some luxurious bedrooms at least, try on. You sure you wanna sleep there? Hmm? Okay. New calling achievement, so what is it? I'll bait and bath. Alrighty. Alrighty, a blade and the bath. Ourselves our little barrack rooms, I guess, and a basic latrine. So, the basic setup there is done. So, you need for the mush brass, um, dirt and water, yes? So, we get ourselves some dirt in there. Uh, dirt? Dirt. Misk? No. I don't know. No. Soil? Dirt. Dirt. Yes. Dirt goes in there right next to microbe mushers to make it faster. What do you mean unreachable, eh? You 
can also build it a little bit further down to the left. Oxygen supply we might need him. Hmm? The power grid is quite fine, I guess. 320 watts go on top, so we will have uh, 800 watts consumption and on top uh, maximum. That should be fine. Instrumental. Ah, I was wondering when the lyrics step in, but if you just let the instrumental play, of course you won't have any lyrics, right? Trust the brain farts for me. So salt water, salty water and fresh water we want to separate into two separate cycles. The salt water will go into the polluted water cycle, but so we can actually separate the water sieve and the desalinator because that was what ruined the other colony. Because the desalinator uses an awful lot of power and then it's always completely plucked up with salt that he has to be removed in the first place before you can actually keep cleaning water. That was kind of bad for me. I mean, really bad for me. Oh, we got no skills yet, hm? Oops. Oh, I didn't set the randomizer for the music. I see. <laughs> oh, this is the one with lyrics this time. Skills? 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 Oh. You're the carrying person, yes? 16 strength. Wow. How much can you carry? Nisbet? Nisbet? So strength? Skills? Strength? Plus 640 kilogram carrying capacity. Okay. Alright, do this. Level 9. 1, 3. Mm -hmm. 7. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's make it 8. Because we need food always. And not just on uh, holidays. Right, we got aluminium and not. This is aluminium. Okay, we thought we have copper. Interesting. So here we got algae, huh? they kinda brown. Interesting. Aluminium. Huh? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we can make a new pawn, hmm? Oh, what we got here? Blossom seeds. Okay, Bristol blossoms. A good researcher. Ooh, a good researcher. What are you? At code, no attacking resistance, and your bad at machinery. But aren't you good at researching? So, I guess we get a researcher. So, fine by me. Okay, digger. Digger. Yeah, we got a. Uh, Good digger now? Mm, 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 mm. Uh, what are your skills overall? Oh, you are good at building and you're good at researching, I guess. Oh, you got to research the snow. Well, somehow. Uh, research skills. Uh, priorities. Priorities. This guy is the more important researcher, the Quinn. Right, why is there. Super duper hard digging in there. Okay. Okay. Obsidian in there? And it's not a tough 1500 rupees Celsius, yes? What's a Draco and what do they do? Dracos are non-hostile critters that graze on pin-sharp pepper plants, bamboo or mealwood plants. Their big sets are covered in thick woolly fibers that only grow in hydrogen fibers. What? Okay. The excretion phosphorite. So basically a fertilizer. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Uh, 
and uh, power cycle for the research tests, I guess. That should get the basic stuff there going. So two cycles here, one for that stuff and okay. You have no LG? I don't have any LG. You should have LG. There is LG. So. And. Uh. How about you dig into that room so the stuff actually. Gross and stuff. Hmm? Well, if this you might be able to actually proper set up a fairly big barracks, hmm? or oh, well, eight rooms, I suppose. This and then we got this and these. Yes. So what is who doing? Don't you have a dedicated builder? Building. Ellie is dedicated to the building. So what you're doing? Ah, you're building up here. Okay. Hmm. The game's the face actually, actually lagging, eh? I think I need to adjust it later, huh? Just saying. So here's a pepper. Here's a pinch of pepper pig plant, huh? Pepper pig? Hmm, pepper pig, eh? Okay. Have a big, I guess. If you're lucky, a super computer will fit you as well. Hmm? Be kind of nice. So you got some better resistance. Not sure. Okay. And the little trailer here is gun. Okay. So here we got no, we know not, eight, nine, eighteen uh, uh, little housings, I guess. They are not the good ones yet, but hey, can improve them. Let's start. Just a single decoration of which will suffice to make it into a decent one. Also, we need these here actually finished. Hmm? Otherwise, we cannot get our food set up, uh, set up done. Just saying. Zell. Well, the bait room's still a bit there. That's this. Well, a bit overkill, I guess. But okay. How did this one get in there, hmm? Finn, come on. Get yourself a proper bait room. Not one with the bad bug. 
I actually need Elga, yeah? I really need to kind of actually. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Food? Well, you need some food, I guess. Proper food protection. We could uh, do it like this to at least close it off properly so I can dig over here to get more oxalite. I know oxalite isn't the permanent solution, but come it. Ah, we got rid of the little... No, we didn't. Ah, you're gonna get rid of the... fact that turned it into a mist crew. That was kinda bad for us. Okay. At least there's a, an awful lot of those light bugs, hmm? Well, okay. Oh, and also, guys, please all the stuff into these boxes, hmm? Uh, wires, please, wires. If it, without some wire, we cannot make... Uh, good, now we can research. These two we need, the farm tiles and the ration box, for starters. Well, I guess. Let's go. Let's go. Light source and no industrial machinery. Eh? No industrial machinery. Eh? Uh, industrial machinery? Hmm. Industrial machinery. Okay. Hmm. I guess we make ourselves a little power cycle down here for uh, oxygen, I guess. Yeah, mess room, I guess. Ah, we're back. There we go, we're back, we're back. Good, we're back. We got a new pawn to choose from, hmm? So we can get ourselves through light bugs. We can get ourselves uh, a fairly strong pawn, I guess. Uh-huh. Nice. Mm. Critter ranching. Uh-huh. Critter ranching? Maybe we should try it sometime, huh? Sorry. No, it's not. It's not done. A nice rock. What are you building stuff from? People? Hello? Hmm. Okay. Okay, we got this, and for fruit, can we make the tile set? No? There's one plant from a seed, eh? What kind of plant? Show me. Oh, we got our farm tiles. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two up, 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. One, two. And this makes 30 plants. Yes, 30 plants. And uh, you can climb up there, that's good. You should be able to climb up there. There's a baby oxygen supply over here. These are set to harvest. Okay. Well, you can get something out of it. And down here we will begin we will make our water our water purification system, I suppose. What's this? Duplicate motion sensor. Uh-huh. Basically, you need to get people into certain spots to get that thing open, mm -hmm. to get to that neural, whatever that is. I see if I can salvage anything from uh, electronics. I add what I find into my database. Okay, what did I get? I've added a new entry to my lock. Mm -hmm. I remember, machines. Okay. So basically that thing makes people smarter for machines. Hmm? A throat clears. We are now reliably printing healthy living subjects. We all have accepted unusual qualities as a result of the cloning process. Squeaking noise sounds can be heard. Unusual vocalizations, bang growths and missing appendages have been He's seen in all subjects for sir, to varying degrees of severity. It seems that bypassing or accelerating juvenility uh, holds certain critical stages of development. Brain function, however, appears typical. Speaking, uh, they also seem quite heavy. Dr. Brussel is signing off. Uh, okay. <laughs> We need hard digging there. So I build another down here. Uh, one line up too. So we can actually dig all the other guy here. So we got a fair amount of coal here, yes. We got mm, quite some chlorine. Actually quite nice for a chlorine room for disinfecting water, but I want to make a boiling cycle, huh? I guess. Saragas? Saragas? What's this? Saragas is a hydrocarbon gas containing high concentrations of hydrogen sulfide. It is a byproduct of highly heated petroleum. What? Condensation point minus 161 degrees Celsius. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And what can I do with that? Hmm. Oh, hatchling eggs. Nice. Are we getting these stuffs? Nice. Nosh beans? Okay, what do nosh beans do? Minus 25 to 0. Uh, yeah, I think it is a bit too warm for those. However, I can. Oh, these are a bit bigger, hmm? I need to make a separate room for those. Oxyphron seed? Ooh! We can grow oxygen plants! Now we are talking! Oh, uh, these are reserved for food. 
So we need to find a different place for oxygen plants. Probably below everything. This means you won't need algae ter terraria at some point. That's kind of nice. If we plant just enough of those oxygen plants, we should be fine. So, more, f more plant places, yes? Well, we could actually do some stuff here. For oxygen plants. If you got those light box um, light box everywhere, we might as well do that. And somewhere around here we might want to grow wood as well. Hmm? Oh research workers. Research workers. Yeah, research workers might be nice to have, hmm? Raise a strap critters back into the world. Grooming station. Okay. Interesting. So wood burners and those fancy plants that turn So growing trees. Getting ourselves some wood burners and stuff could be nice to produce power. And, uh, well, get rid of carbon dioxide while we're at it. Mm -hmm. uh, priority duties? Uh, level 9. We kinda need those plants, yes? Mm -hmm. No No. Uh, pretty big, eh? Pretty big indeed. Wow. Three tiles higher and three tiles wide. Oxyfirm seeds, please. Mm -hmm. uh, not up here. One further down, please. Grab those little critters in there. Hmm? So we get the light. So, uh, priority? Construction. Please, these and these before the bugs again. Go back in. Go back in. Go back. You're right outside. Do I need to catch them all? Ah. Oh well, I guess we need to catch them somehow. Also, okay? Okay, please? Um, priority. This is kinda important to so finally get air, because the air is getting rather low. Diggy tasks? Diggy. Diggy all. All of this, please. So we get air very urgently. Here we're growing more mealwood. Here we're growing oxygen plants. And make ourselves some wood fire plants. This is nice. Woody wood plants. Woody woody wood wood it. Woody woodoo. Uh -huh. So, starvation? I am starving. We got food. Bro, we got food. And why do we build everything from Ignias Rock? We should have sandstone, no? We have no sandstone. Interesting. 
So. Air? Air? Duties? Uh, no. Air? Air? Air. Please? Please? These things are kind of the most important in the base. Yes, the toilet, the toilet cleaning, and uh, yeah, stuff, I guess. You mean unreachable? Guess we need to make this one higher, hmm? Then it should work. Because you can just climb. Oxygen? Oxygen diffusers? Here and here, I guess. It's getting kinda wonky. So we can get bigger batteries now. Okay. It's kinda nice to get bigger batteries. Next up... Let's unlock advanced research. Now we grow more meal wood. Yep, more meal wood. Good. Oxygen plants. Zero to plus forty. Yes. Average twenty five frames minimum. Okay. Are you out of oxygen? Oh, we're out of ox oxygen. Hmm? Okay. Power. Oh. Power. Oh. Wire bridge? Wire bridge. Here, please. And now the wire here we deconstruct. Next up here, wires. Jumbo batteries. A picture might be nice, to be honest. Okay. Oh, we can print more stuff, so what can we print? Let's see. What can we create? Fertilizer. A shiny nymph. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's get a shiny back into the room where we grow plants. Might be kinda nice. Spreading everywhere now because the gas pressure here is so low. Oh. Oops. Oh, 
80 watts. Right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 600 watts. Oops. Well, uh, well, I'm within the power limit there. But this we should have the basic oxygen supply situation sorted. I think. I hope. Oh, you may dream. moment we don't use too much water yet. Hmm? Oh, we might need compostors as well. Hmm? Well, one toilet and a compost, I guess. A refinement? Compost. Yes, this is still a bathroom with a composter inside, finally. And it works, supposedly. So, why not? Enough food? Why are you starving? Welcome, Adrand. Thank you for coming. Well, there is this artist named. One moment, it's in the channel description. M M M M. Sakurai Mon from Twitter. They actually posted a free-to-use model to uh, a day ago, and you can actually adjust it to fit you. And all you need to do is basically to properly credit him. Thank you, thank you, and I, I thought, well, this is what the default model looks like, see? Mm -hmm. And this is what I made of it with all the customization options, I thought it might look kinda nice, and I guess it will be quite nice practice to try using this until my actual model is finished, you see? So I guess we could call this a temporary model, hmm? until my own is, is done. Marae, thanks for being here. How are you? Yep, yep, thank you. Uh, pressure? Oh, I think the air pressure is a bit low, hmm? But at least we are now producing air in the first place. <laughs> yep, yep. My art? I'm actually currently making the design together with my artist, and, well, they're actually finalizing the design, I suppose. Well, this is a new colony and we want to get a basic setup. Ideally, it would be nice if you can finish digging out the place I planned for water supply. If we actually can get these oxyphon plants growing uh, and growing nicely, we might be able to set up um, a colony without any alien. So, the only thing using the alien would be oxygen diffusers, which would be nice in its own. Um, I guess you cannot make those yet. There. Up here I want to make a little tree farm because this planet, this is a hot one that actually grows trees. And with trees we can fire actually uh, wood generators. So we grow, we grow renewable, re we grow wood and then use it to generate power by burning it. Creates uh, CO2, which we can actually feed to these plants. So, we might be onto something. Interesting, I haven't found any sandstone yet at all. And I found a little bit of algae here that I urgently need to get oxygen in the first place. Polluted water, okay. And uh, we will make a four chamber. Well. We will see if they actually grow you go well. Hmm? <laughs> the idea is to get some generous power generation, some air filtering with these, some endless power growing wood and burning it. In the ice colony I never got any trees in the first place. And we'll make a four chamber water stuff. Uh 
I, I have decided to make some luxurious bedroom this time instead of one with 23 beds. So basically Aaron has a luxurious room where if you upgrade the beds and get some art in there it will uh, look, be a luxurious room. Instead of some barracks with 4 or 5 beds at once. So each of those gives the person plus 1 morale. Each of those bathrooms gives bonus morale. Hmm. Research room? Oh, it needs light. Light, I see. So, can we get these done finally, please? Construction? Without those, we don't get any research. Uh, while we're at it, how about you build these as well? Why don't you just build everything while we're at it? <laughs> yeah. I know, right? I might actually move those downward soon. Hmm? Actually, that might be the best solution. Yeah, let's grow some trees here, I suppose. Not wastes a bit of space, but hey, or we can grow more mealwood. The trees go above here, and I'm planning to actually get grow, raise me some critters. With those critters, I might be able to actually just shine on those plants and let them grow properly. And with the real world, we should be able to get some proper food production. I mean, really good food production. You're actually right, Edwin. You're definitely right. Let's fix that. But I kind of like that these actually grow everywhere in this map. Hatchlings are growing as well, which means we can actually turn random foodstuffs etc. into coal for more power generation. Uh, organized? I wouldn't say so yet, but I plan to get some uh, water reprocessing plants down here. I need uh, a pool for salt water, a pool for polluted water, a pool for the germ water and a pool for clean water. Well, that's what I thought of, because I lost a colony because the salt water and the polluted water was mixed and the desalinator that was changed with the deep uh, with the water sieve actually couldn't keep up and that completely stopped the water cleaning process in the end. So I ran out of water for a hydrogen plant system. It was kind of a bad end for a colony to be honest. <laughs> Do I have only one builder? Oh. I guess I know why it's taking so long. Can you please do this so we can do research? Hmm? Could be kinda nice. Uh, harvest this while we're at it. This planet is actually kinda nice in its warmth. Wait, is that a hotspot? 46? Hmm? Nope, there is not no super hot place, I guess. And there's tons of slime lung grounds, hmm? Well, I wouldn't call it super organized, but I tr I am trying to set up rooms now. For starters. Oh, we got... But we can get water coolers then. I want to get um, a big research plant there. And, well... Maybe a light for the room so it gets recognized as research room. Should be good for stuff as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, priority? Guys, guys, we need air. Please raise the priority on these. Also, food is kinda important. Hmm? I noticed that food is important as like 12 of my people uh, starve to death within a single day. I know, it's kinda funky, but I think where I'm, I think you get where I'm getting from. Also, I haven't found any copper at, at all yet, actually. Everything's aluminium. Hmm, metal rock is good. Oh, iron. We found iron. Iron we need for steel, I think. 
Bleach Stone, good for Chlorium. Mhm. Mm Narium. Guess we won't have the super heat conductive and thermal resistant copper, but need to make do with aluminium. Salt. Salt is good for stuff. I think for desalinating. Um, well, for deoxidizing rust to make air. I think. Trust research. A rock crusher would be nice as well, so we'll be able to make refined metal. Oh, and this we need as well, a ceiling light or a lamp. A hanging pot? Mm hmm Hanging pot would be nice. Or a wall pot. Hanging pot? Mm, yes. Kinda important, I guess, to make it into proper bedrooms. For big morale. So, how happy are you guys? Are you fairly happy? Guess you can learn your stuff. Uh, you shouldn't stay there, you might just uh, suffocate in chlorium. Just saying. At least the air production is going. Alright, is it too warm here now? Eh. I want to get rid of some of these for the sake of getting actually growing pl growing tiles there. Farm tiles. Yep. Farm tiles we want there. Floor? Mm. Floor? 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 Right, not floor. No floor there. Half of the farm tiles and half of the uh, empty space because these trees are pretty dang big. Uh, well, something like that. Tiles, 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 tiles. Farm tile. Yes. Then it needs a 3 times 3 area with the tree. So here would be the next one. Here would be the next one. And 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Something like this. Alright. Wrong spot. This goes over here. Something like that. I think. Then we'll need a pneumatic door. And alright, let's build some more walls. We don't want walls in this country. I don't care. <laughs> uh, deconstruct this one. We'll get the door there. And we'll try to trap all those uh, light bugs in there. In the farm area. Good. Next up. Uh, no, we cannot make any air tiles yet, I guess. But we need some tiles there for, you know, to be able to walk. These we'll need, and then on those farm tiles we grow trees. Should be kinda nice. Basic magnetic doors. And we might need to set up a fan or two, I suppose. Ah, we can print something new, so what will we do? Uh, the farm isn't actually running yet, so I cannot tell you if it's a good one, so... Yeah, Edward, we will see. We will see. Actually, 
plant person could be nice right now. Permit? Increased cuisine. Okay. Iron gut. Medicine, husbandry, construction? So good with critters. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Increased. Increased leather? Uh, no. Allergic reactions, floral scent. That's kind of bad for us. Guess we get ourselves a cook. Yes, you are now you are a cook now, a dedicated cook. Stress? What's wrong, huh? Ah, low oxygen. I guess if low oxygen, you might have a little bit of stress builder. I suppose. We will dig up these as well. Yep. Can we dig over here and see anything interesting? Uh, we might make ourselves um, a baby chef. Let's get a ladder here as well. To make sure the people aren't too stupid to get back out. Actually, let's make that ladder a higher priority. Because they will definitely get themselves stuck there. I can already guarantee that. I've lost colors to stuff like that. Ah! We just got bad. Uh. Oh, that would be kind of nice here. So. Well, yeah, hanging pots would be nice. Oh, luxuries. Ooh. I think this is necessary for a luxury apartment. Okay. Now, research. Research. Stations. Supercomputer. There we go. Ooh, kinda chunky. Skills cover? Mm uh hmm. -huh. Room requirements class. Industrial machinery. Okay. Science building? Science building. Just the machinery. Just the machinery. So an industry room will be necessary as well. What about these? Room class. Um... Nah. Eight hundred forty watts. Hmm? Maximum. Not that it is using it right now because we got the power there. Hehe. <laughs> Iron ore? Nice. Good. Ah, the little critters here are kinda taken in by us. Tree? Tree. There we go. Growing trees. We should have enough space in there to be able to... I guess there might be a more efficient setup with other plants in between. To not need those extra tiles. But hey. It's good enough for me. It's good enough for me. A meal, what? Meal, what? Meal, what? Mealwood and mealwood. Good. So for the badwater pool we will need um, deodorizers as well. You wanna know why? The deodorizers get the little nice um, property that... Can't we replace this tower with a ladder to make it easier to get... Wow. This one's very loud. Ow. <laughs> so remove that one and get ourselves a bigger level. Okay. Like this. We got a nice amount of shine bucks, I think. Uh, how about we make this quickly to make sure they are trapped in there? I know, I'm being mean. 
But like this I can uh, trap th catch them without actually using any traps or having to research them in the first place. Got a plentiful amount of those. <laughs> fan here or something? Um, I think we don't have a fan yet available. Oops. Or else. I guess we get ourselves a little deconstruction here and now a door. Kinda. Guys, don't let the bugs run off. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Now we can build light into this room. Nice light. Well, we got enough aluminium ore, so... A wire. Get some wire there. And it will be a proper research room, I guess. We got light and we got tables. <laughs> Guys, bad stuff goes there, okay? Bum, 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 bum. So, does this count as research room now? Laboratory. Good. What does that mean actually? Oh, efficiency bonus. So the research goes faster, I think. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me indeed. Right. Ooh, we are actually properly flooding everything with oxygen right now. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Uh, please build this one more urgently than the digging because then we can just place a picture pump here. Would be nice. With this we can just pump up the water and use it properly. It should be nice. Since we don't have any elevator area yet, that will be kinda nice. So only these basically use up water at the moment. And it produces uh, polluted water, of course, that gives me polluted oxygen, and you'll need deodorizers to deal with that. We got ourselves another pitcher pump. Said it is uh, two tons of water go right into there, but hey, it should be fine. What did those guys grow again? Ah, they are just burning seeds around, but they eat uh, my trees, I guess, that I want for stuff. So I don't want those little critters yet. Cool, we can get ourselves some potted plants. So, furniture? Hanging pot? Hanging pot, eh? I think it should make the room kinda nice. Oh, 
Okay. So. I hope this will work. Otherwise, I've done something stupid. Rough leaf? Are they pretty? This plant improves ambient decor. Oh, okay. Count me in. So there's a baby flooding incoming. It should be fine. It should be fine. Alright, I guess the pla the oxygen plant drone will happen below the water supply. Transform us. Okay. I guess. Let's transform us. Can I see it somewhere? <laughs> Requirements. One or more baits? Yes. No industrial machinery? Yes. Minimum size? Maximum size? Okay. Are we good to our lunchbox bait rooms? So to the left we'll make our polluted <laughs> our polluted water pool. At the center we'll make our water boiler. Where a water pillar of uh, groundwater pushes down towards a tepidizer, gets cl gets uh, sterilized there, and pushes up the clean water on the other side into our clean water pool. That's the idea, at least. And I've made this part needlessly big on the clean water side. Once again. The dirty water side has to be way bigger than the clean water side, because the water pillar has to rise, and on the dirty side it has to be bigger than on the clean side. Or else you don't push it enough. Hmm. Ooh. Wow. I kinda want to spawn. Force a sleep paradox Kelly. Binge eater. Cannot do digging runs. I'm fine with it. You got 19 machinery? Wow. You're mine. Yes, you probably do that stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, leaf, murph leaf, murph leaf, murph leaf, and murph leaf. I'll read it. You get a murph leaf, and you get a murph leaf, and you get a murph leaf. Yes, Zell. Okay, Zell. <laughs> we need a decently sized uh, dirty water pool, but it doesn't need to be too big, because in the end it is just, well, a dirt water pool, I guess. Igneous rock should be fine for making, for keeping the water in there. What other stuff we want to replace? Then this one will go further down quite a bit. I 
think this should be fine. We need a ladder right here as well, I think. But then, well, let's get the ladder here, so. So, we're building our pools. Slowly. Ever so slowly, I guess. The supercomputer is actually our first thing that really uses up water. Well, I guess we can't make. I guess we can't uh, go around the using up water, hmm? How's a zinc plant when zoned with a seed? Increases decor contributing to morale, okay? Hmm. Carpeted tile. Use to build walls and floors of rooms. Increases decor contributing to morale. Okay. Sounds good. So just a few more left, hmm? That's the room decor even. Mm -hmm. They probably don't count as super good rooms yet because they need the good bits. But hey. Zoom TM. Zoom TM. But I think we need plastic for the fancy bits. Um, um, mm -hmm. So, we need deodorizers here, and yeah, I guess we need to get a bit further down here. Can you build it already, or do I need to go all the way around? Guess you can build it. Good! Oh, I got an idea. Above the clean water pool we can actually realize... Well, I suppose we could call it a power plant with wood generators. Hmm? Let's see, the TP Dicer is 4 white, yes? Let's get ourselves a 4 white water pillar. And then it goes down here. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Something, something like this. Not too much. Or less. And down here we want a granite at the bottom of the entire pool thing. Otherwise, the pool story will be kind of a mess. Mm -hmm. we want, uh, including the TP dicer, we want a too high barrier. Yes. Hmm. Not too big there, please. just that one right strip surface so that over here about in, in about we can get actually uh, water flowing ideally it would be one right over there foo so mm -hmm. Insulated tiles, ideally from igneous rock or from granite. Igneous rock actually makes it a lot more safe for rock, I guess, because it reduces the uh, temperature transmission to the point of ridiculousness. Uh, 
uh, the temperatures everywhere around 32 degrees Celsius, so my plants aren't growing. Because I kinda need to make it colder somehow. <laughs> I guess we might need some temperature management soon. Sooner rather than later. Uh, stations? No, furniture? Well, we don't have any ice, but... Hmm. Flower pot. Okay. I guess we might want some stuff. How much power did light actually use? 10 watts? Oh, that's fine. This power cord is at a, almost at its limit, foo. But it's fine. We got a ton of oxygen supplies on that. All for flushing out the carbon dioxide into an area where we can grow the uh, carbon processing plant, I guess. Irrigation? Guys, guys, guys. Wait. Polluted water? Oh. Do we need polluted water for that? Interesting. Eh? Life cycle 4.5 days. So wild it grows slow, but it needs more extra stuff, hmm? Interesting. So we could actually just make algae farms to use the polluted water for the thing, I guess. So we would need another pitcher pump on top for the sake of these. But the temperature is kinda alright, I guess. Except for growing plants. Hmm. Let's place some thingies here. Wait. Then the other thing doesn't fit anymore. Oops. Then the air cooler I planned that won't work anymore. Of course. Wait, is that Superman? I think it's Superman. Okay, this might be better. Okay. This stuff we dig out. We can also have some basic tile uh, bridging here. So everything can, can, uh, can still move along. So we'll be getting, so we'll be able to, able to get ourselves some airflow tiles to properly regulate air pressure pressure soon. Kind of nice as well. Wait, hurry out of algae. Oh, let me see what we have and what not. Coal, important resource. Rust, we can make air from that. Interesting. So, dirt. Well, we got plenty of dirt. I don't think we need to track that. Lumber would be nice for generators. The water tracking is a bit wonky anyway. Um, ore and ore, please. Okay. Ah, oh, I see the problem. We need new... Algae is kinda short in this area. Oh, well, we are short on algae. this and we dig this so all the algae at this spot will be done and then over here we would need to refine slime i guess okay dusk cap atmosphere carbon dioxide illumination darkness okay fertilization slime Pro dust caps produce mushrooms fun growth that can be harvested for food okay hmm salt water yeah, interesting. Murph leaves. I should have enough murph leaves for everything. Let's get 
we sort it out? So the idea was, on these barracks basically, our people have to pass by the toilets and the basins to wash their hands to get rid of germs to get outside. And since I got the accident only on one side, basically around the central pillar of the base, they will, everyone will get past there so I can save up on half of these. In theory it should work nicely. Research complete? Good. No, it's not complete yet for the insulated tiles. Can we get granite? Granite? Cemetery rock? Granite. Okay. So we can also have granite tiles, huh? Mm. Alright. Oh, not on that one. I only till the border of it. <laughs> and up there. And these will all be insulated tiles because it will get pretty dang hot and I don't want to cook my pump over here. So next up you'll need a pitcher pump to the left on the bottlers as well, I guess. <laughs> and ideally we would also get ourselves some um yeah mesh tiles I guess. <coughs> At some point we also need to get ourselves a proper storage room. Just saying. Wait. He's got scrums and those up there not? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. And they're actually slowly dropping. Hmm. Are these now multiplying? Eh? Okay. Hmm. Attribute increase. Mate. Hmm. You're good at digging, eh? I guess you get a diggy drop. You're pretty happy. Nice. Fine. 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 Uh, fine. 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 I'm also happy. You get a better research. And you're uh, happy the way you are, I guess. I can give you the hard digging still. Your morale will be good, okay, still. So more people can do the fancy stuff. Alright, I was on pause mode just now. Of course the time doesn't proceed, if it's on pause. Yes, big brain. If it's on pause, the time to, if the time is paused, the time doesn't proceed. So now we are building these. Mm -hmm. Over here comes two rows of uh, storage cans for everything, I guess. Uh, pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and over here I will put storage cans for ice. Yes, ice into the boiling water because then I can convert boiling water, uh, the ice, into water. Actually, um, this side might be better. I don't know why. 
because, well, we can then make ourselves some pretty fancy stuff. Uh, no. It won't work all the way down. I guess one box of stuff would work. Then over here the clean water will melt and get a swap right and jump right over into the clean water pool. At least in theory. It's fine. Then a bit of stuff then a bit of clean water will already be in the clean water tank. That's not a problem. And over here we'll put stuff. Uh, pumps further to the right because at the very left and we might get into trouble instead A slime refiner might be nice, hmm? Kinda But I guess Hmm Gold amalgam, ooh Gold sounds nice And I guess we dig into it Yes, there's tons of grounds, but I guess my people need to learn getting immune to slime lung. Good, we can build insulated tiles for that stuff now. So next up will be deodorizers. Kinda important to get deodorizing. Oh, we can get fertilizer. Ooh. Uga. Plus 15 excavation. Yes. Heck yeah. That's a pretty good pawn. Domain tasks are attacking and, well, digging. Plus 15? Wow. Okay. Uh, guys. Priorities. Duties. Please take care of that stuff, hmm? I know I got pretty much on uh, quite a lot of stuff on level 9, but that's the most important stuff. The air supply and the food and, well, in this case, the powers, the base for our power supply. Mm. Mm -hmm. Music? Ah, there is music, okay. Zell. So, uh, I guess you hunt this one. We get the ladder a bit further down. At least it's a temperature resistant ladder. It's a temperature resistant ladder, I suppose. <laughs> Not enough oxygen production. Well, I guess I know the reason. Because we got, well, no, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, any, any duties? Duties. Guys, guys, can you please clean up that stuff so we can get down there? Just saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One time off this here, and then you might be able to just jump over here and then go down. Please? Because I want to dig up this stuff over there, so we can reach it in a better way. Nice rock. Granite. Granite. At least of five, please. Next up. Insulate the tile. Hmm. Let's see. Granite. Pick nice rock. Nice rock. Granite. Mm -hmm. 
Probably reactive, eh? Okay. <laughs> nice Amalia Weeklies. Nice Amalia Weeklies indeed. Grand definitely is more robust than I needed at the bottom. Hmm. But if I if I do that, I might as well just build it from here all the way. We don't need those mesh files over mesh tiles over here, I suppose. Uh further to the side so the people don't just keep climbing down in boiling water yes I hate it happened a lot I guess I wasn't I guess I learned from my experiences <laughs> <laughs> uh, this amount of insulated tiles should be fine this keeps the uh, the heated water trapped in here and this should be fine to transmit heat from the almost finished boiling water to the fre to the fresh one to uh, heat that up while cooling down this I hope mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, we need more okay okay I guess we build these further over here. For farm lilies? Okay. Hmm. There's like uh, 400 kilograms of okay, that's a start, I guess. It's closer to me about half a day. the letter there. Can we reach it better? The alligator over here. A decent amount at least. Mm. Oh and do I have anti door slap yet? Good. Let's build an airlock here to prevent the bad air from flooding our base too much. <laughs> research complete. Decontamination research. Nice. We can build deodorizers now. That's pretty nice. So, what else we need, hmm? I guess we can get ourselves a water sieve researched now. Actually, mesh tiles. Mesh tiles would be nice to set up the, the room there with. The crayon should be strong enough. Its pressure resistance should be better. Even through. Uh, where are these stats? Mm, granite is a dense composite of igneous rock. Okay. Stonehenge makes color of it, hmm? Okay. Granite plus a rock crusher it gives me sand. Mm -hmm. Specific heat capacity. Um, where's the pressure? Hardness 80. Okay. Nice rock. Hardness 25. Hmm. Okay. Next to start finished. Already? Nice. This means we can actually. Uh, begin planning out the liquid pumps. Long commutes? I know, I know. We got some pretty long race there. You could say we are going race. Next up we dig out this, so we can get a middle floor and then we get two sets of rows of box of those lunch boxes for items. <laughs> Here we build some deodorizers. I 
guess we can make two airflow tiles per room here. Reason being, then we can actually just easily flush the air upwards or downwards without building up too much pressure. And uh, not there, please. Elmin Roy, yes? Yes, because we found more copper in the world. Like this, it will be easy to flush the entire base with the good stuff. And like this, it will be easy for CO2 to go all the way down as well. Oh, and while we're at it, let's get the airflow tiles over there as well. Uh, airflow? Airflow. Oh, no, no, right? Well, over here is the exit anyway, and water cannot pass through these, but air can, so the CO2 can just flow out. Sounds like a solid idea to me, at least. Might turn out to be a bad idea, but we will see about that. Okay, now you guys dig this stuff, please, before I dig it further down. These things we want. I know you all get the yucky lungs, but at least we get ourselves some algae and stuff. And we will need a slime refiner to turn these into uh, an air supply as well. So, yeah. Hmm, we shouldn't go for, on for too much longer, by the way. Let's see if we can just finish building the basic. Uh, the ca uh, basic cage around here. Is that truckers? Oh, we finished this already. Good. Mm. This? Okay. Alrighty. Be good. Mm. Okay, guys. Guys. Oh. We're actually using the dirty water to water these. Well, I don't mind. I just hope this isn't uh, a one-way trip for the water to vanish. Mm. So basically, these trees want to get watered with toilet water. Fine by me. We got our little composter here. That's hopefully... Uh, composts the stuff pretty nice and quickly. Down here I will build a tipi dicer. Uh, I wonder like this, it might be nice. Right, it's one high anyway, so I can build it right here. Yep. So next up will be the water sieve research that I absolutely need. And this one will go into a separate uh, area. Like over here I will make a salt water tank just for cleaning salt water into polluted water. Or clean water I guess. That gets filled into the polluted water tank here. Then it gets de then gets uh, depolluted and degerminized into the clean water tank. Should be way more efficient and uh, doesn't chuck as much power. Uh, yeah, I guess so. people might need to take a dip and germ free polluted water. Interesting. And if it's like this, you don't get those algae. I know you don't like polluted water, but... It seems to be germ-free at least. If 
family. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there certainly isn't much. There aren't many algae, eh? Had I built these just one time higher, I could have made fans here. Uh, brewability is good. Crops aren't growing well yet, food. Oh, new printables. What can you print? Hmm? What's printable? Mm hmm. Bristol berries or mouth leaf? Oh. Good. A farmer. A dedicated farmer. Good. Your main task is uh, farming, I guess. Good, 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 good. Imagine putting airflow tiles down here. Would be kind of funny, but uh, I think with airflow tiles you can actually uh, keep an infinite pressure of uh, liquid stored or something like that. I've read. Uh, properties. Uh -huh. Actually, it would be kind of kind of an interesting idea. Can we try that? Just getting those there and then seeing what happens. Ooh. I wanna try this. In worst case, the pool just empties itself. Well, then we don't have any water anymore. But I wanna try it. This would be kind of funny if it works. So we will put deodorizers over here. Yep. Then we need deodorizers um, somewhere. Somewhere around here, I guess. Deodorizers luckily don't eat much power at all. So you just ba put some baby power room with like one or two treatments and one or two big, uh, one or two big batteries and a treatment or something like that. Should complete the surface to make them run non-stop. <laughs> I'm really sleeping here. Hmm? Good. How do you just move your ass over there for sleeping? Don't sleep in the polluted oxygen with that's now flooded with slime lung somehow. And the polluted water is clean. Well, okay. Did you find anything fancy yet? Oh. Okay. I think we found magma. With this we might be able to actually generate power. Hmm. Sulfur? Mm-hmm. Mavic rock? There's something inside. Iron ore? Uh, salt wines? Okay. Research complete. Good. Which research? Ah, the sieve. So, the TP dice are a little neat. Definitely. That will be one more thing down the drain, I guess. Well, not exactly the drain, but you get me. One, two, three. And there we can build our little storage room now. Well, storage room. We can just slap doors in front and it is, then it, it is a room, I guess. Base. Starch bins. Eh. Uh, let's build the starch bins, please. I know this looks a bit overkill, but hey. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Right, what's that? Do the mushrooms make spores or anything dangerous? Oh, the mushrooms? I got no clue, but I think they're supposed to be food. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, somewhere in there, I guess I can make a door. Just to be sure. But yeah, sorry I have seen it only this late, Edwin. The mushrooms supposedly are a decent source of food. Something like that. So I might actually try just eating them, I guess, with my people. Right. A spiral of oxalite ore? Okay. Okay. I guess. <laughs> and over here I can only um dig up that part. Well, I, they can eat everything raw. I think they just ran all the way over there to eat them. So I guess. I am building these mesh tiles now. Hmm. We need those funky pumps. A few of them at least. Uh, the deep pumping pumpers, pumpy pumparinos. So I actually need a pitcher pump for the trees, I guess. Pitcher pump. Yep, like this. Down here we get a pump and here we get the free bottle emptiers. I know, it seems kind of weird, but it should work. Let me... Bottle emptier. emptier. Uh, please don't put the water up there, so I'm down, but uh, down there, like this. Okay, we get our airflow tile floor to see if it actually works. If it works, it will be funny. If it doesn't, well, then we know. Because I've read that in a nine a three times three zone like a circle of airport huts you can have like a, a billion tons of water and they don't break because the liquid basically never touches them family plumbing we need a liquid pump here one should suffice we need a liquid rent here Uh, we need liquid rents here, I guess, for wastewater. Don't worry, these mesh tiles don't <laughs> just let it pass through. But yeah, I think they've eaten them raw already, so it should be fine with the mushrooms. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Wait, I can't make just purely airflow tiles there. You cannot grow on airflow tiles. Oops. But you can make half an airflow tiles, I think. If I put the stuff close enough together, it should be fine. I want to grow the plants there, and below that I make the power supply for this stuff. Or something like that. Actually the other side, right, the other way around might be better. Mm -hmm. 
three high shots of his. Then we'll make a full set of airflow tiles. Uh, guys, take these, please. Okay. Remove these plants. Good. When there's water in here, there should be a you know, gas exchange like this. But like this, the carbon dioxide can f just flow down there until it is time. Uh, out to the side, I guess, once this pool is empty. Got a fair amount of water down here. Can we come mop it up? Or most of it at least? Oh, we are researching the TP Dicer right now. Okay. Arrow right here. Let's get ourselves our free pumps, I guess. And maybe a pitcher pump. I just hope it. What can we build from? Nice rock. Oh. So it will be safer against higher temperatures. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> if it is uh, safe against until 90 degrees Celsius, the boiling water won't be a problem anymore. Welcome, Kate. Thank you for the luck and thanks for coming. Yeah, I think the colony is slowly coming together. Unless we are running out of food, I guess. But otherwise, we should be able to pull through. Oh, down here is stuff, hmm? Okay. Sargas, salt water, carbon dioxide. Some guy, uh, doing stuff. Squeaky puffs are non aggressive critters that excrete lumps of bleach stone with each breath. Add chlorine. Okay. Excretion. Bleach stone. Hmm. I kinda want to reach the spiral. And the magma over here. Lava sounds good for uh, power production. I think. Slime lung. Thank you, I guess. That's why I got an uh, airlock. Ah, uh, we got the area anyway. Uh, oops. Whoopsie. Unlimited power, I guess. Right, bridge. So we can actually make a uh, heavy duty power lines there later on. Would be kind of nice to have heavy-duty power lines. Alrighty. By the way, I was thinking if I should actually uh, write down an introduction, I can say whenever I uh, uproot it, please, so we can do the stuff with the airflow tiles for our uh, wood power production, I guess. Mm. Sounds like this will be a kind of breezy room. Hmm? Well, it should be big enough to uh, fulfill our basic needs there. I hope. Three high should suffice there. Mm -hmm. We are digging a lot again. So we can get ourselves some growth tiles there. For the basic line up. Yeah, the basic lineup should be fine. Uh, how about we research the desalinator for the time being? Uh, furniture? Fancy bed? Comfort bed needs plastic. For plastic we need oil, I think. So some oil critter would be nice to have, to be honest. Larek. 
Oh. What did I just say? These consume carbon dioxide and exude crude oil. I think I need to uh, get them sorted out, I guess. Food? Not food. Okay, keep it dizer, eh? Here or here, hmm? Mm. Both works, to be honest. Or here. Well, the basic buildings for the water supply will be there. And then we need... Furniture? Uh, not furniture. Utilities? We need a water sea. Sieve? Refinement. Water sieve. There we go. Power. A wood burner. Mm. Aluminum. Wait, I'm out of aluminum? Okay. Oh. Uh, did I actually dig tons of. Uh, did I actually plan out all my aluminum? Oops. So. Hmm. Okay. Oops. Bum, bum, bum. Uh. Oh. Guys, 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 guys. Emergency meeting. We need air right now. Alrighty. Emergency, please. Dig into this bubble of oxygen. Wow, that's some pride pressure. Six kilogram of oxygen per tile? Yep, we need this ASAP. This flushes down our base and makes everything more breathable. Up there is another one. Alright, let's uh, dig these towels, please. So the stuff flashes down uh, in a better. If this more oxygen problems should be uh, postponed. But postponed doesn't mean that they are solved. Oh, level 9, please. Yeah, and here. And here. Into a few more oxygen bubbles. So you don't just run out of air while setting up everything. Uh, these we need to dig as well, and yeah. Scales? Pickles? Oh, you can dig everything except neutron, no? You can dig better as well. Okay. Can't learn anything right now. You might want to get to tinkering. Uh, no. Okay. People got some stuff to do at least. Here we got some high pressure oxygen coming down our base. Nicely flushed into it. <laughs>
guess we turn this into a mining uh, into a mining installation. Actually, digging the stuff for extra for extra air. Mm. I guess you might need some uh, a lot of stuff out there. I guess. Down here we get our oxygen plants. Here we got our uh, CO2 producing power plants, I guess. And somewhere around here we might need to put the oil critters as well. But overall, I think you get the idea of the basics lineup now. Or anything? Oh. Well, there's tons of slime on, I guess, so that people get sick. But otherwise, oh, all. Do I need to choose them all one by one? Ah, all, 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 all. Spreading into the base, which is kind of nice. So, stuff will get brittled again. Oh, well, at least. From here, the oxygen flushes our base as well. Good. I guess we've managed to avert crisis for the moment. Salt water, chlorine, salt water. Mm -hmm. I guess actual usable the water is kind of tight. Well, my fault. 
plan. It kinda is, but I can't do anything against it. Because the stuff over there is what we need for making air in the first place. Research? Research? Research, hmm? Oh, there we go. Research is done. So what we need is... Uh, where is it? We need air. Hmm? Algae distiller? Refiner? Yes? Uh, carbon skimmer? Mechanized airlock? Deodorizer? Ice ether? Ice maker? Is it a... Case valve? Eflatone? Make it valve? Uh, yeah. Where is it? Oxalite refiner? Nope. Gas valve meter? Thermal regula regulator? Nope. Cools the gas pipe through it, but outputs heat in this immediate vicinity. Could be kinda nice for cooling the plants that I'm growing. But where did it go? Hmm. More scrubber? Desalinator? That kinda got surfboard? A shower? Sink? Laboratory? Electrolyzer? Rust deoxidizer? Mm hmm. A deoxidizer would also work for me, I guess. <coughs> so. I get it still. Oh, we have it researched already. Okay. That's good for me. So. These metal tiles would be kind of nice to have. But. Let's research energy. These stuff we need too. <laughs> so, uh, refinement, yes? Slayer? No. Algae distiller. Uh, yes. Um, Rockies. Uh, it needs its own power bit, I guess. Somewhere around here. Oh. Flush down the chlorium now. Please do count wood. Wood. Actually, how about we get ourselves a storage crate or two down here? Like for wood to put into the generators. Would be kind of nice. Eh? How did it slip up? Wait, this didn't slip up. I built those earlier, right? Oh, okay. So we're digging down here. We're having fun in the polluted water, I guess. Filling up the oxygen supply. To make sure everything lasts. Okay. We are not too far yet, but I guess we can get the water supply going next time. Or oh, well, the water cleaning. We don't use too much water yet because we don't use the algae, the terraria. Those actually use awful amounts of water. Considering that this pool is still almost full, the only thing really using up the water is, well, the supercomputer and the bad water all gets eaten by these, so we don't actually have much water to put into here. Well, alright. The Deuronize I still need to get going through, otherwise, yeah, they are quite nicely set. Three cans for wood. Uh, let's cancel these useless ones, please. Mm -hmm. Down here we will actually get ourselves the, the oxygen plants to clean the CO2 out of the air. Actually, it would be better if we got those earlier than later. Just saying. Hmm.
Got some auto eyes? Yep. Very nicely set. Got some colossal bait rooms that... Pressure? Oh, we don't have enough pressure there. Okay. Manual. Train to the 50 temperature Celsius. Temperature should be fine. We got some funky air stuff here. To see if it actually works. If it works, it's funny. They got way better heat transmission than, well, these. But at the same time, if they're immune to the water pressure, then I can just put them there. Then I got the insulated stuff here for the sake of keeping the heat in the uh, sterilization chamber. Dirty water comes here, fills up, gets spoiled. Water presses it stuff through here, over here, and the clean water flows out here. A nice cycle. And if I can get wood burners going, it should actually be going quite nicely. Yep. It might be a thing for the next time. We got our wood trees for giving us lumber. Also nice. How much do these even use, hmm? Eh. Eh. I don't accept. Even, um, even the treatments produce more power, but at least it works without people working on them non-stop. Mm -hmm. But produce a fair amount of feed. Well, can't do anything about that. Oh well. We might just need to see how we deal with that. Especially if we're boiling here. But otherwise... Yeah. Okay. I think it's a good time to call it a day now. Thank you for coming today. Also, peace there out for the raids and stuff, okay? So, these are my socials. My Twitter, my Twitch short channel, as well as the Discord server in case you want to... Uh, get notifications for streams or Twitter notifications and stuff. Also, I tend to post some stuff like the source of this pay uh, of this um, Omori inspired paper model. And yeah, if you want to see there, I would I would be happy if we tried to be honest. So how about we see who we can rate today? Hmm? One moment. Uh huh. Who is life? Hum, 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 hum. Oh, we got. Mm hmm. Hmm. Curl. Oh, race there. Ray, Kappa. Ooh, Toma is playing Darkwood. How about I send you off to Toma? Thomas, uh, well, Thomas is our dear uh, cow emperor, Tengu emperor. You know, he's a he's a cowboy and he's playing Darkwood. It's a pretty scary uh, game, and I think you might see him, enjoy seeing him. Hmm? Maybe I can introduce you to new people. He's really cool, and he's awesome. Hmm? So today we will visit Thomas. Alrighty. Let's rate Toma. Right? Toma underscore Tango. And the rate message shall be. Um, yeah, doggo rate. Doggo rate. Like this. Alrighty. Thanks for coming today. Good night, Oyasuhu, and sleep well. Bye bye. Thank you.